arrested tonight when a stand collapsed before the start of a concert by Pink Floyd. Fifty were hurt in the accident at Earl's Court in West London. Others were treated for shock. 15,000 fans were told to leave the building and the concert was cancelled. Ian Glover-James is at the scene. It happened as thousands of fans packed Earl's Court and excitement ran wild even before Pink Floyd reached the stage. Then tragedy. A seating stand at the rear of the auditorium began swaying as fans stamped their feet, then slowly collapsed. Some were trapped for 30 minutes until firemen freed them, but most walked from the wreckage, suffering little more than shock. Paramedics tended the injured in ambulances at the scene. There's first aid being given to people on there, and we saw some blood. Um, people being laid out outside, probably about a dozen at most. There are some tunes. And everyone like got up and we were like really excited and stuff. Like, you know the atmosphere before a concert when, it, when you first hear music. We all stood up, we were all cheering and stuff. And suddenly the stand just like seemed to just jolt forward. Like we heard a few screams, but apart from it, it was just shocked because like everyone was hyped up for the big concert. And then suddenly this it just all went quiet. The minute it happened, it's like the band stopped playing and like no one knew what had happened. There was some initial confusion, but rescue crews were quickly into action. Fans said there was no panic. Earl's Court was rapidly cleared in a combined operation of police, fire crews and private security men. And the concert was cancelled. This couldn't have been a worse start for Pink Floyd's first concert in their first world tour for seven years. Ian Glover-James, News at 10 at Earl's Court. Ting collapse at the Pink Floyd concert at Earl's Court. The latest reports are that one woman was trapped under the scaffolding and a further 50 people were injured when the temporary seating gave way just before the band went on stage for the first London concert in their record-breaking tour. London Tonight had a cameraman at the venue throughout and our reporter Louise Bevan joins me now live. Louise. Well, it was a sellout concert and literally seconds before the first bar struck up, chaos reigned when a stand collapsed at the back of the arena. What should have been a great night for tens of thousands of fans here ended in disaster. This was the scene when the lights came up. Seconds into the sellout concert, the 20-foot stand at the back of the arena gave way as the crowd stood up to cheer the band onto the stage. A woman spectator trapped by the broken seating is helped by the emergency services. 200 people were on the stand 40 were injured, 8 needed hospital treatment. In the pitch darkness of the concert arena, it was several minutes before the 15,000 crowd were aware of what had happened. This couple were sitting on the stand when it gave way. Well, to start with, I just thought it was some kind of effect to start off and I heard a big crash. And then I just felt really scared that the whole stand was going to fall down and I didn't know what was happening. It was just really confusing. I wish you were here just started and everyone was like really like screaming because it started. Next thing's the clang. Everyone realised it weren't part of the music, and all of a sudden you look down, because I was sitting up in 46, looking down on top of it. And you saw everyone passing the bodies over. At first I thought it was a fight or something, you know, but then we realised it was a bit worse. As the building was evacuated, ambulance crews stretched out the injured, mostly suffering from back injuries, bruising and shock. We are very distressed at what has happened to these people and are particularly concerned about those who have been injured. We are awaiting a full report in the morning. The band will play an extra concert on Monday night for disappointed fans and are also offering refunds. Well, the cameraman, the London Tonight cameraman who shot those pictures was John O'Smith. He saw everything that happened in the arena tonight. When did you first realise that something was going very wrong? Just as the house lights went down, the first thing we heard, well, the lights went down and then suddenly we heard some shouting from behind us and we thought the crowd was asking us to get down. And then we heard the words, there's been a serious accident, and suddenly it just all went mad. We, were, we turned and suddenly the house lights came up and suddenly it was all on. OK, thanks very much. Back to the studio. A seating stand at last night's Pink Floyd concert at Earl's Court. Health and safety investigators are still at the scene to try to discover why it happened. Louise Bevan is at Earl's Court. Louise, are there any clues yet about why the stand collapsed? At the moment, there are no clues at all. As you can imagine, there are a huge team of inspectors and safety engineers crawling all over the seating in there at the moment. They're trying to establish exactly what happened before tonight's concert goes ahead. Needless to say, it is a different team to that which inspected the stands yesterday before the concert and said it was safe to go ahead. Until the inspection's over, no clues as to what happened. No reason to panic, OK? They came to see a rock concert. They ended up seeing nothing. 
as the 20-foot stand collapsed just moments after the lights went down, leaving fans clambering frantically to safety. 36 people were injured. This woman, trapped beneath the broken seating, is clearly in agony as emergency crews try to free her. But after the shock of what happened has come anger. Fans demanding to know why the scaffolding structure gave way when it passed safety tests before the concert began. This is a question of accountability here. Somebody needs to be nailed down on this one. We've come all the way from Aberdeen for this. We're only here for one night. We spent £300 on flight tickets, taking time off work, etc. And we cannot come back. As the building was evacuated, ambulance crews stretched out the injured. In the pitch darkness of the concert arena, it had been several minutes before the 15,000 strong crowd had realised what had happened. You can see all the seats twisted and all, some had fallen back and some had fallen forward and they were caught in the middle. Safety inspectors and engineers have been working overnight to establish what caused the collapse. Organisers expect tonight's concert to go ahead, subject to the findings of today's investigation. The other seating, uh, which was not affected last night, has been examined uh, by a team of from health and safety, the competent authorities that I mentioned, independent engineers, and, and pronounced uh, to be safe for this evening's performance. Are they the same people that examined the seating last night? No, they're, they're, different, the people. they're different people. This morning, as fans crowded around the ticket office to get details of Monday's rescheduled concert for last night's audience, others were still hoping to snap up tickets for this evening, undeterred by last night's accident. You're not concerned about what happened last night in the arena? Well, I'm a little bit, but like, lightning doesn't strike twice, really, does it? Where have you come from to see this concert? Uh, Cape Town, South Africa. All right, I'm flying back tomorrow night, and only time I can see the show is tonight, so I'm trying to get a ticket for tonight. If somebody can exchange me one, I'll be happy. So a rescheduled concert for Monday is no good for you? No good. I mean, I can postpone my flight till Sunday, but it's no good either. I mean, otherwise, it's going to cost me 100 quid just to postpone my flight. I have to go back, finish my studies. Louise, what's the latest news on those who were injured? Well, 36 people were taken to hospital last night. Of those, six have been detained overnight. They're said this morning to be in a comfortable condition. They're not seriously hurt. Finally, will tonight's concert actually go ahead? At the moment, yes. Every indication is that tonight's concert will go ahead, but the seating area that collapsed last night obviously won't be open. Subject to the findings of an inspector's report this afternoon, yes, it will be going ahead to tonight as scheduled. Thank you, Louise. Pink Floyd concert at Earl's Court will go ahead despite the seating collapse last night which injured 96 people. Six of those hurt were still in hospital today. Part of the auditorium will be closed for the performance this evening, affecting more than a thousand ticket holders. The organisers say they're satisfied with safety for the show. Our reporter James Westhead is at Earl's Court. James. Behind me, fans are already arriving for tonight's concert. The rest of the seating has been declared safe by independent engineers and the health and safety executive, who've been here all day examining the wreckage. So far, safety inspectors haven't been able to find what caused the section of seating to collapse. The concert had just started when the 20-foot high scaffolding underneath gave way. Hundreds fell to the ground, some were trapped in the wreckage. People started falling on top of us from behind. All the chairs tipped forward and there was just a mass of twisted steel and uh, people screaming. When you look at the way that those stands went and the way that they crumpled, I mean, it really is a miracle that nobody was killed. Almost 100 people were injured. Most, like this man, escaped with cuts and bruises. The, the seats just collapsed and um, I fell about four seats in front, uh, catching the legs. Um, on the sea in front. Six people are still in hospital. Doctors say they were lucky that more people weren't injured. We were prepared for obviously a full-scale incident with serious injuries and we were extremely pleased that the majority of patients that we saw did not sustain serious injuries. Most of them were minor. It was to have been the first night of Pink Floyd's world tour in Britain, one of their biggest and most complicated stage shows. The section of seating that collapsed held over a thousand people in block nine at the back of the arena. It was one of only two sections supported by scaffolding. So far it's unclear why it gave way, sending people crashing to the ground. Officials from Kensington and Chelsea Council had approved the seating arrangements only that morning. The investigation started really almost immediately after it happened and of course will now, is now an official investigation under this council and that will now have to go into considerable detail uh, about the structure and design of the stands and, and all other matters relating to it um, in relationship to last night.
Today, inspectors from the Health and Safety Executive have been examining the wreckage and questioning those who gave the go-ahead. The findings uh, are not known yet. Uh, they're, they're coming to the end of the technical investigation. Uh, now I have to go away and uh, put together those findings and, and conclude their results. At a show for concert organisers in Berkshire today, there was concern about safety and calls for tighter regulations. Because we're a young industry, there, are, there needs to be a whole infrastructure of professional standards set in place, which is what the Events Prize Association was set up to start doing. Pink Floyd, who yesterday pledged some concert profits to charity, said they were very distressed by what had happened. Although tonight's concert will still go ahead, the damaged sections will be sealed off, preventing more than a thousand fans from seeing the concert. Organisers promise they'll be given refunds or alternative tickets. James, is there anything more you can tell us about what caused the collapse last night? Hello, James, can you hear me? I understand uh, that there's a news conference to be held in a few minutes' time by the uh, concert organisers and one member of the band. Uh, so we hope to learn a bit, little bit more there. But eyewitnesses have been telling me that on the night they saw bolts sheared away from the scaffolding, which points to one of two possible explanations, either design failure or failure of, in construction. James, does that suggest that the safety inspectors who looked at the uh, auditorium before last well, night show possible. missed something? Uh, the scaffolding was very complex with hundreds of different joints and bolts. It would be quite easy for them to miss a single floor, and it would only take one floor for the entire structure to come down like a house of cards. James, thank you. ...seating, which brought dozens of fans down with it, putting 36 in hospital. Out of commission for tonight's concert, but in the rest of the arena, it'll be business as usual. Safety inspectors and engineers have spent all day and most of last night examining the wreckage of the stand. But almost 24 hours later, not one of the many organisations involved in the investigation is prepared to even hint at the cause. Heading the investigation, which could take several weeks, is Kensington and Chelsea Council. But it's going to be far too early to say, and it's really not very helpful at the moment, I think, to try and make any conjecture about what happened. So does this call into question the safety of other concert venues? I don't think so. I think it casts a shadow over this particular event, and I think that that is very unfortunate. Because no single group is responsible for overall venue safety, the inquiry into the cause of the collapse certainly won't be quick. The stand gave way seconds after the lights went down for the start of the concert, leaving fans clambering frantically to safety in the dark, and this woman trapped. Today, other fans were still hoping to snap up tickets for tonight's concert, undeterred by last night's accident. Lightning doesn't strike twice, really, does it? Tonight, Earl's Court management said that after stringent examination, they are satisfied that the seats to be occupied by fans at this evening's concert are safe. The collapsed seating has now been removed for further testing, but it could be several weeks before the key question of exactly what went wrong is answered. At Earl's Court, this is Louise Bourbon for London Tonight.